Well, this might be uh, Al's favorite day of the week. It's Friday feed time. He is uh, testing out some great spirits this morning. Yes, we are going to send it to him. He spent the whole morning at Wildcat Brothers Distillery. He's made food. He's had some rum, and now he is pulling at my heartstrings with that beautiful black lab. Al Abair, how's it going? Look at this. Alex, I know you love black labs. Uh, so this is Abigail. And this is Tate Martin. That's I don't right. want you to get him confused. Tate's the guy with the hat. <laughs> Abigail's the one with the tail. That's how you tell him apart. Exactly. Uh, Tate, it's been a great morning out here. Thank you so much. Big day today. Tell us again, times, locations. So uh, our ribbon cutting and actually, you know, come pet Abigail. So Abby, Abby is actually the namesake of Abby's Acre, which is a, a, a nonprofit uh, that's on on our site that uh, does urban farming. It's to combat veterans, and, and they do a, an amazing job. But today's kind of our grand opening. So, uh, well, we're grand opening opening of our factory. So we're going to do our ribbon cutting at uh, around noon. So y'all come out to do that. Uh, what's unique about today is you're going to get to go through our factory, but also too is that we're selling, uh, we're calling it the Founders the founders Label and Founders Bottle. So basically what it's, it's going to be is, is uh, yeah, because this grand opening, you buy the bottle and then you'll be able to come back and actually fill it yourself on another tour uh, because we want people to see this as a community space that, you know, come come learn something and, and have a good time. And it's great. And there's there, look, there's a lot to learn out here. I, I had no idea uh, how the rum was made or, or the big giant tanks you have or some of the cool stuff. This is a very cool spot. And of course, you have a few gifts to sell inside the building. Absolutely. And we try to, we try to, uh, keep as many local uh, Louisiana gifts as possible. So, you know, our friends Aaron Gray, our uh, friend Israel Chasson, uh, who does Agate Jewelry, which is the official gemstone of, of uh, Louisiana. Ah. Yeah, we have, uh, you know, uh, Josie's Goods. Uh, it really but becomes an area that, um, yeah, it, it allows us to really um, help Acadiana shine. But we're here really to make rum, and uh, we love for uh, the community to come out and, and see us. I love all the people you have in there because I really love um, I love the folks at Aaron Greco, but I like Josie's hot sauce because that sauce, hot sauce, not a lot of vinegar in it. It's good so stuff. you get really good, uh, a little, uh, really good heat and it's a great sauce. Uh, I really, really like that. We, it's good that you, oh, you're you working with local vendors. We do and we have, uh, we have uh, Greg Brown, he also uh, has some hot sauce in there too that, that he has a bunch of different peppers that he grows himself. So, uh, you know, we're, we're really just using local, local vendors and um, yeah, trying to trying to highlight what's good in Acadiana. And I like it. Well, I tell you what, Wildcat Brothers, y'all know what's good in Acadiana. <laughs> it's at the old Gator Cove or Gator Cove, which is now an address, now right? Now an address, yep. And Abby, uh, well, she left, <laughs> you know, story of my life. So, hey, we're going to go back to you guys Monday. Books Along the Tesh. We're talking about Books Along the Tesh all morning long. Oh, that's going to be fabulous. And again, yeah, tune in at noon. I know we're going to have a whole crew out there for the ribbon cutting. Yeah, for more on the weather, we need to kick it over to Absolutely. Adam Olivier.